Hello, my name is Kishé, and today I'm going to show you the growing crystals experiment from lesson seven of the geology unit from the good and the beautiful. This experiment will help us see how crystals form. Gems and crystals require heat, pressure, and time to form within the earth. We will use heat and time to grow our own sugar crystals, and the best part is that you can eat them when you're done. For this experiment, we will need sugar, water, a narrow glass or jar, a popsicle or craft stick, and a clothespin. First, let's begin by bringing one cup of water to boil. Once it's boiling, stir in the three cups of sugar, one cup at a time, stirring until it's completely dissolved. When the sugar solution begins to bubble lightly, go ahead and remove it from the heat. At this point, you can add color and flavor to your sugar mixture if you want to. I'm going to stir in two drops of food coloring and a splash of vanilla extract. This may cause your solution to bubble and steam. Now we'll allow the sugar mixture to cool for about 15 minutes. While that's cooling, we can prepare our stick and jar. The clothespin will keep our stick suspended in our jar without touching the bottom. Clip the clothespin to your stick and then place the stick in the jar. Adjust the clothespin so that it rests on the top of the jar or glass with the end of the stick resting about half an inch from the bottom of the jar. That looks good. Now, we're going to prime our stick for growing crystals by getting it wet and then coating it with sugar. Once it has a good layer of sugar, set it aside and allow it to dry. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so we can pour the mixture into the jar. Be very careful because it will still be warm. If you're trying this at home, make sure an adult helps you with this part. Now, place the stick in the middle of the jar so that it hangs down into the solution. Now, we just have to wait. You'll need to leave your jar alone for four to five days while the crystals grow. This is the jar we prepared today. See how the sugar solution is mostly liquid, but it's already starting to crystallize around the stick? This jar was prepared two days ago. Look at how the surface has formed a hard crust. This jar was prepared five days ago. Let's see how the sugar crystals look. Carefully break the surface of the sugar with the spoon until you can pull out the stick. Then transfer it to a clean, empty jar and allow all the excess mixture to drip off. Let's take a look at our finished sugar crystals. Do you see the different shapes the sugar has formed? Isn't it beautiful? Now all that's left to do is see how it tastes. For more tips, tricks, and experiments, check out the Good and the Beautiful Science YouTube channel. Be sure to check out these Open and Go Homeschool Science Units and many more on goodandbeautiful.com. Also, download our free marine biology unit today.